Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. You guys, I just finished the new FWC required shark course for land-based, pier-based bridge fishing for sharks or harvesting sharks. Listen, you guys, I'm encouraging everyone to go over there and take the course, okay? It doesn't cost anything to take this course. I'll put a link in the description below. Here's what I had to do. I went to the FWC website, okay? I clicked on the shark fishing course. In order to take the course, you have to be registered, all right? You gotta enter your, your uh, email, create a, an account, a passcode, then you have to confirm it, and then you go back and you can take the course. Now, in this shark um, certification program by the FWC, there's four modules, okay, in this course. They're audio-based, all right? You just click on it, you listen to the audio, and while you're listening to it, there's a screencast that has some information on the screen that you can read as well at the end of each module okay there's one question and now all of the questions throughout this course are going to be multiple choice or true and false questions okay so at the end of each module there's one question after you finish the four modules then you go on to take the test which has 10 questions in the test you have to get a hundred percent right in order to pass and get the certification so that you can get the permit to be able to harvest or target sharks from land. All right, I'm encouraging everyone to go over there and take this free course. You're gonna learn a lot about sharks in Florida. Listen, you guys, recently I uploaded a video where we helped somebody land a shark on the beach, okay? A couple of weeks ago, I posted on Instagram a little video of that shark asking, hey, what type of shark was that? There were several different answers, a sandbar shark, dusky shark, and lemon shark. Well, you guys, through taking this FWC course, I was able to identify what type of shark that was, okay? So listen, I'm encouraging you guys, you're gonna learn a lot about shark fishing. There are specific hooks that are required. There are specific um, handling methods for sharks that are required. And you're gonna learn some things about protected species like sawfish and manta rays, you guys, also in this course as well. Like I said, it, it probably took me, I'm gonna say a half hour to 45 minutes to go through the entire course take the test. Now I have my, cer my certificate. And then once you get the certificate, you get a number, you have to go over to a, a certain place, enter the number so that you can get the permit added to your license. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's, a, that's enough said about that course. Um, let me give you some quick updates, you guys. I am back from North Florida, vacation with my kids. Did not fish at all while I was up there, but we had an absolute blast, you guys. Um, I have an upcoming trip planned with Jetty Rocks Fishing. Mike D, make sure you check out his channel. Going to be trying to get on some red snapper during red snapper season over on the other coast in Day Daytona where he fishes all the time. I am really looking forward to this trip. You guys have been planning to do this for a long time with him. I'm hoping we have really good weather. If we don't, we're going to have a whole lot of fun anyway. All right, uh, let's see. What else? I did, before I went to North Florida, I was doing some kayak fishing, you guys. I have some video footage on my computer that I need to put together for my kayak fishing adventures. I love my new kayak, you guys. The thing is just absolutely awesome. Let's see. Before I left for vacation, uh, quite a while ago, you guys, I got on that really, really good snook bite on the beach. I've never caught so many big snook in such a short period of time. I think it was four fishing trips. You guys caught like seven gigantic snook. Two of them, you guys, two or three of them were 40 inches possibly over. I only measured one, but the one that we measured, I know that snook was the heaviest snook that I have ever caught in my life. It's spawning season. She was definitely full, 40 inches, you guys, and that was a massive snook. If you haven't seen that video, that was part two of when I was fishing with Joshua Taylor from Salty Scales. Make sure you check out his channel too, you guys. But that snook was massive. I mean, the head on that thing, you can just see when I'm holding that snook up, that is a beast of a snook, you guys. There was no like, I, I, I never do any kind of finagling with photography or videos to make anything look bigger. Yeah, we're always trying to find the right angle so that it looks big, you guys. But that snook was just massive. I caught some big snook out there. Um, I'm probably gonna try and get out and do some more surf and inlet beach um, type surf fishing, you know, for the snook again. Uh, here coming up. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna be hitting the kayak hard this week. I've got some time. I don't have any music gigs planned. 
Thanks, you guys, for being a part of this channel. You're all greatly appreciated. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. And listen, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I upload videos all the time. Everybody click that bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Everybody get out there and go fishing. Everybody click on that link. Go over there and take your shark fishing course so you can be certified and learn about sharks. Listen, even if you're not targeting sharks in Florida, it would be good to get the certificate and permit in case you do catch a shark and you want to keep a shark, you'll have that permit, okay? You'll be covered and you'll be legal instead of illegal. And if you're just handling a shark, you can handle them in the proper manner because you got educated through the course. Doesn't cost anything. Get out there and go fishing. I already said that life is fun. Live it and just be awesome. See you.